Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Friday, January 6, 2023. Today I'm talking about testing for COVID and airplane wastewater. Now, but first a refresher, you got to remember that the SARS-CoV-2 virus, that one that causes COVID, you know, currently we're in the Omicron wave, can infect and multiply in the cells of the gut and viral uh, particles can be found in large quantities in the stool. Now, the virus can also shed in the urine, but it's not going to be in the quantities like the stool. Now, testing wastewater has been used for surveillance of COVID in the past year, as well as some other viruses. It can uh, predict waves of infection before people, uh, communities start seeing the counts and cases go up, and they can use it to monitor for emerging variants. So today I'm going to just briefly discuss a research study that came out of Malaysia. Malaysia is one of these countries that has been detecting, uh, testing for COVID in airplane wastewater for a while at their international airports. And recently they announced that they did a study from June to December 2022 of 29 flights in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. And they found the Omicron virus in wastewater in 28 out of 29 flights, the majority. So what does that mean? It means that folks who were flying on those airplanes excreted the virus in the bathroom, basically. Okay, now they're not the only country that has been monitoring flights uh, from international flights for COVID. Recently, the CDC announced that they're going to Uh, test wastewater from airplanes coming in, incoming flights from China, Australia, Canada, some countries in the European Union, and the UK have announced similar plans. So what should travelers take away from this? Well, you should take away that people uh, are traveling and excreting the SARS-CoV-2 virus on the airplane and probably in any other public restroom uh, throughout the airport or anywhere else. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that those virus particles are going to be infected. Now, you know, uh, the fecal oral transmission route is less common for COVID. The most common route, of course, is airborne transmission, followed by, you know, droplets when you cough and sneeze or sing or whatever. But still, you want to try to avoid COVID infection uh, transmission at all in all ways. So your hand hygiene is a way that you can do that. Remember to use uh, hand sanitizer. If you're on a plane, you may want to use a disinfectant wipe on high touch surfaces, your seatbelt clip, your tray, your armrest, because you don't know who was in that seat before you. But one of the biggest things that you can do is wear a mask, especially when you're using any type of public bathroom, be it on the plane or in the airport, because when those toilets flush and most of them don't have seat covers, um, at least in the airports, the ones on the planes do, you can aerosolize those virus particles and they can float around in the air for up to three hours and be viable. So that's my message. I hope it's helpful. Remember the uh, best COVID infection, folks, to me is the one you never get. So Use all the tools in your toolbox. Take care, folks.